Hi, I'm Cindy, the Everyday Gluten-Free Gourmet, sharing tips and recipes from my kitchen for more everyday cooking in yours. Come and join me in my kitchen to see what I'm cooking today. Hi, this is a short video on how to use tamarind concentrate versus tamarind paste for everyday cooking. Uh, Asian and East Indian recipes sometimes call for tamarind, and so I wanted to show you how I use it. Tamarind paste comes in a bag like this. It's like a pliable block, just like baking dates. And inside, <clears throat> it looks like this. And you can peel off the parts of the tamarind like this. I usually peel off about a half a cup and just peel it off as good as you can. It doesn't have to be tiny pieces. So I'm going to break it into pieces and put it into a cup. So about a half a cup of tamarind to a cup of water, always a two to one ratio. So this is pre-boiled water. I'm going to pour it on top and just give it a quick stir with a fork and let it sit for about 15 minutes. And so it softens up a bit, separates so that you're able to strain it. So of course, I've already done that. Here is my tamarind that's already been soaking. And I'm just going to give it another stir. You can see it's much thicker now. And I'm going to strain it here, just dump it into the strainer. And then I'll push on all of the tamarind with the back of the spoon. So the liquid comes out easily. And then I'm just pushing on the tamarind to get more of the liquid out. And in the end, you'll have kind of a thickish liquid in there. And this will just be discarded. So it looks like that. And then the tamarind that you have, you now sometimes I scrape this off with a spatula or a spoon, that's the thicker part. And then when you mix it in with everything, it's just a thickish kind of liquid. And so you'll use that in any recipe that calls for tamarind. If it calls for a quarter of a cup, you use a quarter of a cup or a tablespoon, whatever, that just use it just like that, tamarind paste. Now tamarind concentrate is a little bit easier. They did some of the work already. Comes in a container like this. It's a thick, dark black paste. And again, it's a two to one. One tablespoon of tamarind concentrate combined with two tablespoons of hot water. I just use tap hot water. And it would be the equivalent of how you would use this. So two different ways to use tamarind. The concentrate, of course, is the easiest. Or the paste. Um, you just can't always find the one you want. I'm happy with the uh, quality of the tamarind concentrate. And I use it in recipes like pad thai, Korean ribs, Thai curries, and my all-time favorite is Indonesian chicken satay. I'll put a link to that recipe in the bottom of the notes. Thanks for watching. I'm Cindy, the Everyday Gluten-Free Gourmet, sharing tips and recipes from my kitchen for more everyday cooking in yours. If you like the video, give me a thumbs up. Thanks for watching.